Getting into our next guest here, Chef Jen, who is a regular on our show here, always brings us mm -hmm. uncommon, common foods. Mm -hmm. What have you brought for us this morning? Always inspiring, curiosity, yes. and uh, bringing some new things home. So what I've got here is kelp. Now this is something you can pass around, play with, you can break it. Uh, kelp, if you don't know what kelp is, kelp is kind of a, the superfood of the ocean, if you will. Uh, it's, it's incredible. This probably will grow about a half a meter per day. Um, it's very, very interesting. And they, it's seaweed. And if you've ever seaweed. had it caught around your leg when you're swimming Terrifying. and had a minor freak out, Terrifying. Just eat it. Yeah, you can just cut it off and eat it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll no longer have a fear of kelp. Uh, but this is one of many types of sea algae. Uh, sea algae, sea vegetables are super, super high in iodine and all kinds of other really, really good things. Just a real nutrient mm -hmm. uh, uh, punch, if you will. Uh, so I really like kelp, and I brought it today because it's something that we see a lot of um, in different forms. You know, I have sea snacks here, but you'll also see uh, in, in seaweed, uh, nori in sushi. Right, so you see that wrap. Uh, so th what kelp can do is it can add a, a whole different anomie of flavor to things. Uh, it's actually gluten-free for those of you who are wondering. Um, it adds a special flavor. It has its own saltiness. Uh, quite often this can be broken up into pieces in a coffee grinder and used as a substitute for salt. It can be used as a seasoning. You as can, a substitute for you salt? You betcha. It packs a nice salty punch. And if you don't know what that umami flavor is I mentioned before, it's kind of that sort of savory extra special note. It's sort of the fifth sort of flavor uh, that we can pick up. Yeah, so this is something that you can add to soups. You can make mm. a soup with just this. You can hydrate it and slice it. It can be in salads. It can <laughs> you can have a bite. I probably wouldn't advise that. No, but, uh, I was going to have a bite. Seriously? Yeah, it looks like yeah. a big green can lasagna. A it does, doesn't it? <laughs> you could make a, a, a certain kind yep. of lasagna out of it. it but it's incredibly versatile. It's very salty. It's salty. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's salty, but it's Hard also chew, got... Though. Yeah, how are you going <laughs> <laughs> to... <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so you do want to hydrate it. You do want to cook it. A lot of really neat things come from it. A lot of uh, thick and, and starch sort of substitutes come from this too, agar, agar, uh, mm. that, that does a lot of neat things. But at the end of the day, um, it's really neat. Get some, take it home. You can find it at uh, some of the larger grocery stores, for sure at the smaller Asian markets. You can get a whole bunch of it. It'll last you a year. Um, take it home, play with it, look yeah. up some recipes, find some fun and get inspired. Um, this is also an added, something you can add into a soup base. Mm -hmm. You can put it in, say, if you're cooking beans, mm -hmm. quinoa, something like that. It'll flavor the water, it kind of breaks add down. That extra little right. And it has something very special in it that helps beans cook just a little bit faster. So if you're a home cooker of beans, Ooh, uh, yeah, those little kind of tips and tricks as well. It adds that something something to your beans that you can't you can't just put in. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kelp, a type of seaweed. Uh, so this is another one. This is nori. Um, you'll find this in its larger form in sushi, mm -hmm. uh, but this one's just a flavored one. Now there's a little bit of salt, uh, salt, salt, not so much sodium, but salt in there. And you know what? Uh, it's a tiny little package. It's like 16 calories. Mm -hmm. It's a good little snack. It's hearty, and uh, I love I love chewing on them. Just check your teeth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it fills that point. salt craving. It too. really yeah. does, and it's it, there's nothing to it, and it's a good little snack. Um, they come in a few different flavors. So if you're not interested in getting a whole sheet of nori. Um, which you can use for, like I said, sushi. You can julienne it and finish a soup with it. Hmm. You can add it to salads. You can toast it. Sky's the limit. Um, miso. Miso, one of my favorites. <laughs> salty bean paste. I know it sounds is, really. Is that what it's salty really bean it's paste. Salty bean paste. Mike, do you know what this is? I do, yeah. yeah. Miso soup, right? Miso, yeah. exactly. And you actually need this. I love it's one miso, of my favorite soup. miso soup. Soups. Yeah. So miso, you could literally add a couple tablespoons to some hot water uh, and a little bit of this, and you would have the traditional miso soup. A little bit of tofu in it. And that's it, eh? That's it. Yeah. And that's it. This is really simply stunning food. So this has got a ton of protein in it because of the beans. Um, mm. It is a fermented product, so there's some health benefits there. Uh, it's organic. It's not pasteurized, so it maintains a lot of that nutrient value. Um, but, but it's what not I, super expensive. It's either. not super expensive, and a little goes a long way. So this could be used used in uh, light salad dressings, marinades, uh, soups, uh, sauces, stocks, anything like that. Lasts a long time in the fridge. Really, really neat process, great history. A few different kinds you can buy. There's lighter misos, there's darker misos. Uh, one thing to keep in mind when you're looking at miso, though, is to read the ingredients. So miso can be just fermented beans. It can be fermented beans with the addition of rice and other grains. So some can contain gluten. Okay, uh, so look for that. Organic white rice, mm -hmm. organic whole soybeans, mm -hmm. sea salt, filtered water, culture. That's good. it. That's we really like that? good. Yeah, okay. so that's a product you want you want to look for. Um, you know, salt is an ingredient on there, but we're not, uh, you know, this isn't something you're eating by the spoonful. Mm -hmm. um, so there is, it does pack a salty punch, but it's it's nice because it's going to flavor things for you, and it's going to take a little bit of that mm -hmm. salt work. And it's sea salt. Um, so of all the salts, that one's a, a little less 
part on the old mm -hmm. system. But yeah, there's another nutrient dense punch, and it's a it's a good way to add a little mm -hmm. something something to a lot of things as well. All together, this is under ten dollars, and you could uh, make tasty tasty soup. Something I have to add and to my fill kitchen. Fill that yeah. salt craving. <laughs> Chef Jen, always a pleasure. Thank you. Uncommon Common Foods. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, you can follow along at your Twitter account yep. at Chef Jen Calgary. That's me. At Chef Jen Calgary.